Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for July. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is intended for singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So Sagittarius, you do have to be single. So whether you're dating, getting to know, separated, or maybe an ex, however it pertains to you, or wondering when is new love coming into my life? going to see what we get here. So whether you know, know this person or not, take it how it resonates for you. Could be uh, past, present, or future energies. Cross watchers are welcome. So what I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, with this deck is get this person's overall energy. And then with the butterfly oracle there, we'll get their spirit soul energy, lover's oracle, their love energy. Clarify all that energy with the tarot. And then we will look at how you would feel or how you do feel about one another. Blocks, challenges, uh, possible outcome and then there will be an extended if this resonates for you if you're interested in extended links are below in the description box for vimeo or patreon whichever uh, suits you best and we'll take a deeper look into this connection we'll look at the future if you do decide to pursue this connection what could be the future of this connection so i'll pull three new oracles and i'll use a whole separate tarot deck and we'll do a whole new spread to see the future of this connection. And then also I will pull some Hidden Truth Oracles, which are right here, uh, for unspoken messages, Hidden Truth messages on the connection for you, Sagittarius. If you are involved with somebody and you do have an ongoing uh, love connection, whether you're together or not, I do have love connection readings, love readings on the channel also. You can find those in your love playlist. Your playlists are below in the description box, love in general. I'm no longer doing general readings or spirit messages, but uh, I have two new readings I'll be introducing to the channel soon. But if you want to become a Patreon, I do have my Patreon page uh, down there in the description. And I do uh, elemental bi-monthly spirit messages and general readings for uh, the elements. So if you're interested in still getting those readings, uh, for now, you know, because I still work a full-time job, my time is limited. Um, I can only offer bi-monthly elemental readings for Patreon if you choose to join. And if you do, thank you. All right. And I am no longer offering private readings as uh, I just don't have time right now. Uh, work has been crazy busy due to the pandemic. So uh, getting overtime and I just cannot fit private readings into my schedule right now and I'm trying to grow my uh, business and my platform so I have different platforms going also so I hope you understand and they're not closed forever just tell um, things either slow down in the world or <laughs> I can do this full time so if you are a previous client uh, the option is only open to my previous clients who feel they are in need of a, you know emergency reading or they really need a reading so all right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. We have the page of Gabriel. Energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excellent excitement and adventure. So this is the page of wands. So this is a fiery, passionate energy. It's about communication. It's about an offer. Good news coming in. So I feel like this person um, that could be either coming into you or that you know, uh, however it resonates for you. Again, it could be someone you're dating, getting to know, someone you're separated from, an ex, or a friend that you want more with, uh, a crush, I mean, however, or somebody totally new in the future. But the Page of Wands energy, I feel like this is someone who is always up for a new adventure. Um, they're open to anything, anything that comes their way, uh, new endeavors, projects, um, opportunities. They may have a lot of... Um, ideas and also for new things also very creative energy so you know I feel like they're always open to new exciting things always looking for that next thing to like light their fire kind of energy hmm so let's see I know how stable they would be they I mean they could be in and out energy you know especially if they're in this energy of constantly wanting something new trying something new you know could be a thrill seeker so we'll see how that plays out for you this could be you, Sagittarius, how it plays out for you. New exercise program. Hmm. Okay, so this could be somebody getting into shape. 
um, you know, trying to, you know, <laughs> better their health. Or, I, again, I feel like this is someone who's very active and is always out for something new and exciting, kind of. And I know this is exercise program, but the word new is popping out to me. And our exercise program, I'm just getting someone very uh, active. So this is someone who's always up for a new challenge, a new, something new, exciting, thrill-seeking kind of energy. All right, so let's see what their love energy is like. And this could be somebody, too, that kind of jumps from job to job is kind of what I'm getting also. Like, they think the next thing coming to them is, like, bigger, better than what they're doing now. So they may not stay at, like, one job for a long period of time. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So I feel like this person's always out for new opportunities, new memories, doing new things, even in relationships. So, I mean, they could be in a relationship and feel like, oh, you know, they're attracted to somebody else. Well, maybe that's better for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting someone that always is thinking that anything coming in, into their life is better than the previous or the thing they're in now, whether it's a relationship, a job, or where a home, or where they're living. I feel like someone's constantly um, on the move. I kind of feel such a So this could be you. I mean, however it resonates for you. All right. I don't know if I mentioned, this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. All right. And if you're new to the channel, Sagittarius, uh, please do, if you like how I read, check it out, like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, uh, thank you and welcome to the family. All right, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, that really, really helps YouTube to circulate the readings, the videos. Things don't get circulated unless they're liked. Comment, well, I shut off comments because I was getting too many uh, ridiculous comments and spam and all kind of junk, so I don't have time to deal with that. So, and people complaining about free readings just really aggravates me, so. <laughs> all right, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, let's clarify, the Four of Wands. Hmm, so the Four of Wands, though, is a stable energy. It's also about dating, it's about commitment, it's about marriage, it's about, it's my twin flame card. Oh, so I feel, you know, it's about uh, stability in the home life. So I feel like this person is always after the next best thing because I think it'll make them more stable. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Because you see, like, all this activity here. All right, so because I see playful brave, energetic, optimistic. Okay, what else? New exercise program. The two of wands. Yeah, they. this is about choices uh, being at a crossroads. So I feel like this person's always at a crossroads, like looking at the next best thing and making a decision. Okay, I'm going to try and go down this path, see what happens kind of energy. The four of cups. So, yeah, I feel like I'm feeling like this. The four of cups is kind of like my bored and melancholy card. This person may get bored in new connections very easily because they're always looking for the next best thing. So if this is someone you haven't met, just be careful. This new person you may meet may be in this energy. Um, could have been someone you just met this spring and now we're coming into summer. We are in summer now because now I have heavy spring and summer. So if this is their energy and they're like in and out, in and out. I, I don't know. We'll see what we get here. So, all right. Let's get... Some more on this person for you, Sagittarius. The King of Wands. Yeah, there's that go-getter. That could be uh, Leo. That go-getter kind of energy. Uh, fiery, passionate, exciting. Out for the next adventure. Out for the next ex new exciting thing. Always has a you know bright ideas of something new um, kind of energy. So that's definitely that King of Wands. That's that wand energy I was feeling there. All right, what else here? The tower. Yeah. I feel like Aries energy. I'm getting a lot of fire signs here. So the tower here can be epiphany, aha moment. It's like they get a spark of a new idea and they, you know, and they blow up their whole life thinking this next best thing is really going to make it for them. So they're constantly 
shifting and changing their surroundings, their environment, which may be very disruptive to um, everybody you know around them, circumstances around them also with the tower energy. Oh, okay. What else here for their love energy? With the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we're going to reverse all there, but, you know, the Nine of Pentacles upright is someone who's very secure and grounded, can take care of themselves, financially set. I feel like this person is not stable. They, again, they're always thinking the next best thing is out there. So they may always be putting themselves in an energy where they're not stable. You know, they may have been stable, but now they're constantly shifting and changing their environment to where it makes them unstable kind of energy. So Nine of Pentacles upright is a very stable, you know, energy, but single energy, but in reverse. Um, I mean, it can be about someone who wants to commit and doesn't want to be single anymore. So this, you know, could be somebody who jumps from a committed relationship to another committed relationship, keeps going back and forth kind of energy, but also I feel like a very unstable energy. So, I mean, they may just feel like, oh, this is my person and they commit and then month, two months down the road, you know, they find somebody else and think and they commit to that person. So, all right. So let's see how you would feel about this person, Sagittarius. The Nine of Cups. So you're going to feel like, so you're single. Nines are a single energy. So you're going to feel like <laughs> happiness and joy with them. So maybe, you know, because um, they are optimistic, playful here. So you feel very happy. Um, you know, this is about wishes and dreams coming true and fulfillment kind of energy. So you're going to feel that energy around them, you know, towards them. So how would they feel about you? The Six of Swords. So this is about going to a better place, going to a more healing, balanced place, leaving rocky, choppy waters behind, things behind not serving, just moving, traveling. Could be distance between you or traveling um, energy to a better place. Again, I feel like this person thinks the next person out there is better than where they are now. So, Or this could be you finally taming that person not taming, but getting that person to settle down and move forward with you. But let's see what the mutual energy could be between you. Temperance, your energy, Sagittarius. So if I mention the uh, sign who you may be dealing with, that's fine. If not, follow the storyline. If this resonates for you, then it's your story. If not, then uh, hold out for the next reading. But again, if you really resonate with this, there will be extended down below. Um, on Vimeo or Patreon, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. So if this resonates, you want to follow for the extended, links are below. At the end, you can follow that, and I'll use a whole new tarot deck, and I'll pull three new oracles on the future of this uh, connection if you choose to pursue it, or will, where will it go in the future. And I'll pull some uh, hidden truth oracles, um, hidden truth messages on the connection also. So, you know, the temperance angel here is, this angel brings in something meant to be, you know, brings the soulmates together. It's about patience. It's about balance. It's about peace and harmony and healing. So, divine uh, energy. So, you may balance this person out. And they finally realize, I finally found the one. So, we got justice. Wow. Justice. King of Swords. Uh, I got three that tipped over. I don't even know how that happened. Six of Cups. Wow. Okay. So if, for some of you, it could be someone returning from the past with the Six of Cups energy. If not, it's someone you feel like you have known forever and you're like, I don't even know this person. Past life soulmate. You could have known this person um, in past lives. Very familiar feeling with this person, perhaps. But this is either someone from the past or a past life soulmate, and that temperance angel is now bringing you back together. And we have justice here at Libra. So this is getting, you know, fairness, just, balance, clarity here, getting something meant to be, things working out. The justice card here. And now we have the king of swords, Gemini energy. So mutual energy. It blocks, well, this is the blocks of challenges here. So there may be... Um, challenge here to see things clearly, to bring justice in the connection, and to come together as soulmates. 
even though that energy is here and the universe is trying to make it happen. So that's kind of the blocks and challenges that I see. I think one will be clear and the other, if they can get out of this... I don't get that they're a player. I think they just like maybe fall easy for the next person and think, oh, that person is my soulmate, so I'm going to go in that direction now. Or this next best thing is a, you know better suited for me for where I am now. I feel like they're constantly shifting, changing their environment, thinking the next thing is the best thing for them. Not necessarily so much in a player way. I think they commit and then two, three months down, or maybe even a year down the road, oh, this is better, I'm going to go to that now. You know, however that resonates for you. So it is that kind of unstable energy of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So let's see the future. If this person can come clear, the King of Swords energy, and finally have clear thinking, um, cutaway energy is no longer serving, you know, all that kind of energy, clear communication, and finally realize what they're doing, and realize, you know, justice is here for them. This has the opportunity to be to be a very deep soulmate connection. If they can stick to it this time, I feel. Wow. Okay, so let's see the future. What else? Page of Pentacles. So here's a sincere offer coming in. Somebody extending out that sincere, stable, grounded offer. That's way too many. High Priestess. But, and this is Pisces energy. But this is, you know, trusting... You've got your intuition, higher knowing. It's also high priestess doesn't usually speak, so it can be about no communication. So somebody may want to offer this something stable here, but may not offer it. They might stay in this uh, holding back energy with the high priestess energy and the king of cups. So Pisces energy here again. So king of cups is someone who does have love and emotions. They're very mature, but sometimes they hold back, don't always say exactly how they feel king or queen here, but the king energy is kind of, you know, they may show you but not tell you all the time, but they definitely are mature and do have love and emotions. So somebody here definitely will have love and emotions and want to offer something stable, but they may not do it with the high priestess energy. And the other person may intuitively know this is what the other one wants, but no one's saying anything. Oh, the heck. All right, but we do have the sun here, Leo energy, happiest card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family, victory, happiest card they are with the sun. Things, you know, coming to light. But we do have the seven of wands energy here. So somebody being defensive and on guard, keep, maybe keeping the other at bay. Eight of wands. So, and, you know, this is about taking action, travel, communication um, also. So... Somebody may be taking action towards the other one, but the other may be blocking. But the sun is here for the happiest card in the deck. Knight of Wands. There's that player energy I have uh, felt. And this is Sagittarius. It could be your energy, Sag, but there's that player. Kind of like a player. I mean, this is a go-getter. They go after what they want. I feel like this person's constantly on the go, go, go. Always trying something new, different, exciting, thrill-seeking. Oh, this is better. You know, always after that next best thing. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're constantly working, 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 and they never become stable enough with the Nine of Pentacles for that to be upright because they're constantly working and working, trying to become stable. If they would just stick to one thing, I feel like that would be better for them than constantly changing their environment constantly. Wheel of Fortune. So they may be a gambler. They may be constantly buying lottery tickets. But uh, Sagittarius energy again, but this is fate and destiny, divine timing, things going better, getting in the right direction, um, something coming in meant to be. So, I mean, if this person could stick, you know, I feel like they've had things come to them that was divinely guided, that was supposed to be for them, that they were supposed to stick with, and they didn't. And that's why they have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person needs to learn how to stick to one thing to become successful, to become happy, to become stable, to become independent, to be, you know, in a loving relationship. They're always uh, go, 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 go kind of energy. Yeah. So we're going to go over to the extended now, Sagittarius. So links are below if you would like to um, see where this goes. I'll pull new oracles, whole new tarot deck, hidden messages. We'll see if this person will change. If you connect with this person, if they stick with it. 
and if this has a potential to move forward. So if I see you over there, I'll see you over there. If not, uh, this is where we part. Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.